what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome i have another c beauty brand to share with y'all today and this one comes to us from the brand anthemy i have never tried this brand before so it is very new to me but i have heard wonderful things about the formula and i'm hoping that those hold true because i do have more on the way from the brand i know that's insane but they just launched four new palettes and i picked up three of them so fingers crossed that i love the formula as much as everybody else but this is going to be the butterfly shadow and backlight palette first of all the cover art is absolutely gorgeous and you can see the reflection of that butterfly whenever i move it around but the color story in here is stunning this is a 12 pan palette you do get seven mattes and then you get five shimmer shades in here we have multi chromes we have duo chromes we do have this one shade right here i believe it's this one that the brand calls a glitter i'm hoping it's not too gritty or anything like that and it's a very well done glitter but we will find out but the color story in here like I said is beautiful I like the greens the purples the reds and this over here is actually a really deep navy blue shade now this palette does retail for $65.99 it is still currently available on the look healthy store so I will have it linked and listed down below in the description box as well as everything else that I have on my face and that I use in this video to finish up these looks so per usual if you're ever curious about anything I use in any of my videos here on my channel always check the description box because I squeeze as much information as I possibly can into that tiny little space. But without further ado, let's go ahead and zoom in, prime my eyes, and get to creating our two looks with this palette. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into our first look with this palette. So like I said, my eyes are already primed. I went in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. For my first look, I really wanna play with like this maroon shade right here, this really pretty pink. And I think I wanna deepen up this look with this navy blue shade. So I don't know what I wanna do for shimmers yet. We're just gonna kind of start there and we'll figure it out as we go. But I am gonna start with this pink shade right here. There are no names for the shades in this palette on the back anywhere. They may be on the carton, but it's in Chinese so I can't read it so I'm just gonna go in with this pink shade right here and I am going to pick this one up with let's go in with this brush this is a morphe m504 brush and I am just gonna go ahead and start out by going in with a very light hand and I am going to fluff this in to my crease building up the pigmentation a little bit of depth and definition now I am like I said going in very light-handed because if this is anything like the other C beauty palettes that I have tried to date it is going to be very pigmented very powdery there is going to not I shouldn't say really powdery but a very soft formula and there's going to be a lot of fallout so I'm kind of anticipating that my under eyes are powdered really really well now so far I am not getting any fallout down here this is a really light shade so maybe this isn't going to perform that way who knows I am getting some kick up in the pan though I just want to show you in that pink shade it's it's not too much. I've seen more with like Naremi and Kenyon, but this is a little bit more than what I've seen with um, Shall We. So next I'm gonna go into like this deep burgundy wine maroon shade down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a Singe Beauty EO6 brush and I'm gonna start to build up this outer corner. Once again, I did get some kick up in the pan but not as much as I have in other palettes. I got about the same amount that I did with that first pink shade that I went down with. Now I will say, these are going on really nicely. The pigmentation is definitely there. I wouldn't say that this is as punchy as some of the other ones that I have tried but it's also not quite on the full I don't know I'm trying to think of the words that I'm looking for it's not quite as buildable in pigmentation as shall we but it's not quite as punchy as Narimi that's what I'm looking for it's kind of that middle road the pigmentation is definitely there but I'm not getting any fallout I'm not having a hard time blending this out and softening those edges so very pretty kind of a middle of the road formula i am going to take that shade down onto my lower lash line as well just kind of lining it up with what i have going on on my lid and then i'm going to go back with that first pink shade that i use and just kind of fill in the rest of my lower lash line 
Next, I wanna try and deepen up this outer corner with this deep navy blue shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a Morphe M506 brush and I am just very lightly going to tap it right here in the outer corner and then I'm also going to bring it down onto the outer portion of my lower lash line as well just building up that tiny bit of depth out here if you've watched my videos before you know I love just that little bit of depth out here but if you're new I love the little bit of depth out here and I just think it makes a huge difference to the look it can really kind of bring everything together and it just gives my eyes a little bit more of a lifted look but you see how it just kind of deepened everything up so you have a little bit more of a gradient out here that's exactly what I'm going for for all over the lid, I wanna go into this multi-chrome right here. I have already dug my finger into it because I started to put it on and then my camera cut out, so I'm just kind of backing things up. But it's this really pretty like green to gold to fuchsia flip to it. It's gonna go beautifully with this look. I am gonna pick this up with my finger. My lid is already primed with my NYX glitter primer per usual, and this feels very smooth, very silky, and look at all of those flips and that reflection it has to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press this all over my lid I'm gonna bring it over to the outer corner as well and just kind of go in with a clean finger and just kind of like press everything together and make sure it's good and blended for the inner corner I want to go into this shade right here this is the one I think is the glitter that they referred to they call it a silver but to me it's more of like a pewter shade so I am going to go ahead and pick this up with a singe beauty e01 brush I am going to spray it with some Mac fix plus and I'm gonna pop this in my inner corner before I do that though I have picked it up I want to put my finger in here and see what it feels like so this is definitely it's not a pressed glitter you can definitely see like a little bit of that shimmer in there like it has like those glitter flakes to it but it feels very soft very smooth it doesn't feel gritty or anything like that so I just wanted to swatch it really quick so I could get a good feel for it before I went and put it in my inner corner and possibly poked out my eye my eyesight is bad enough I don't need anything to help with that but I went ahead and picked it up on my Singe Beauty E01 I'm gonna spray it with my Mac fix plus and we're gonna pop this right here on the inner corner I'm gonna kind of bring it down onto my lower lash line bring it up into my lid kind of blending everything together. All right, y'all, so this is the first completed look, and I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. I really love the performance of the mattes with this look. That shimmer multi-chrome all over the lid was so smooth. It looks very shifty and beautiful. It's not accentuating any texture, and I didn't get any fallout with the mattes either. I only got a little bit of fallout with that kind of pewter shimmer shade that I put on my inner corner. It was just like a little bit of kind of flaky shimmer, and it kind of brushed away, so not a big deal, but I do think this is very beautiful. But let me show you what I used to finish up this look so we we can move on to our second look with this palette so in my lower water line I went in with a Victoria Beckham satin Kajal liner this is in the shade fig I lined my lid with my ZC liquid liner and then I finished it off with my Catrice lash changer volume mascara but let's go ahead and pop into our second look because I definitely want to play with these purples in here this really pretty green over here and for the shimmers I'm kind of thinking of doing a combination of these two and then this one on the inner corner Corner. maybe we can get to every single shade in this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and start with where do I want to begin <laughs> it's a really tough decision I think I'm gonna start with this green shade no I'm not gonna start with the green shade I'm gonna start with this lavender shade right here so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up with a BK Beauty 201 brush and I'm gonna start to fluff this into my crease kind of doing the same thing I did with my first look on the other eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it just a little bit and then I'll go in with back and forth motions, kind of blending everything out and evenly dispersing that pigment. Now I wanna go in with this green shade right here and I wanna fluff this along my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a Singe Beauty E03 brush. And like I said, I'm just going to fluff this along that lower lash line. I am not going to press or tight line or anything like that. I am just going in with back and forth motions. 
All right, so next I wanna go in to this more vibrant purple right here and just put it on my outer corner and start to build up a little bit of depth and definition. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a BK Beauty 206. And again, I'm just gonna kinda of do the same thing I did in this look over here. I'm gonna to start to press this shade out here and kind of build up the shape that I want. And once I have the pigmentation and the shade where I want it, I can go back and start blending everything together. Again, I am not getting any fallout. I am not getting any patching, skipping, or anything like that. These shades are pigmented, but they're still more on the buildable side. I wanna go into this shade right here and see if I can build up a little bit of depth in this outer corner. I don't know if there's going to be enough of a difference between the depth of those two shades to actually give me what I want out there, but we're gonna try. If I need to, I can go in with that navy blue shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up with a Singe Beauty E05. And just like the other look, I am going to very lightly kind of tap this right here in the outer corner, bring it down onto the outer portion of my lower lash line as well. That is definitely giving me the depth that I want. It is deeper on the lid than it looks in the pan. So I really appreciate that because when I got a closer look at this palette, I thought, do we need both of those shades in here? I don't know if they're really necessary, but they 100% are. So for all over the lid, I want to do a combination of these two shades right here and then do this one on the inner corner. So I'm actually going to start with this shade right here. It's this really pretty like blue to light blue to teal multi-chrome. I'm going to focus this on the center portion of my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up with my finger. This one definitely has a little bit more of like that putty like feeling to it but very pretty still very smooth just not as smooth as the one i put on over here and like i said i'm going to focus this on like the center portion of my lid so i'm going to leave open that inner portion over here and i'm going to leave open a little gap where that matte shade is over here but that is very pretty on the lid i do like the way that is performing now I'm going to go back in with this shade down here. This one looks to me like it's a duochrome. It has like a pink to purple flip to it. So again, I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up with my finger. This one feels very smooth, very similar to the one that I put over here. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. It's moments like this. I wish I had put this all over my lid, but we're going to press this right here on the outer portion where that matte and that shimmer meet. And I'm just going to kind of blend everything together, kind of going back and forth with my finger and smudging those two shades. All right, let's go ahead and finish off this look. So I'm gonna go in with this really pretty iridescent shade over here, and I'm gonna pick it up with my Singe Beauty E01. Again, I'm gonna spray it with my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm gonna pop this into my inner corner and that um, inner portion of my lid as well, kind of blending everything together. So let's see how this is going to perform. That is very pretty. All right, y'all, so this is the second completed look with this palette, and I think this one turned out just as beautiful as the first one. The combination of those two shimmers on the lid is absolutely stunning. It reminds me of, like, a mermaid tail with all the shifts from, like, the green to the pink to the blue next to the purples. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But let me show you what I used to finish up this look so we can turn the lights down, see all the shifts, the sparkle, and then I can come back and give you my first initial impression thoughts on this palette. So in my lower waterline, I went in with a Victoria Beckham satin Kajal liner. This one is in the shade Fig. And then I went in with my same ZC liquid liner and my Catrice mascara. All right, y'all, so based off of first impression, I really love this palette. I had a lot of fun playing with it. I think the two looks that I created turned out absolutely beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous as well. I love the artwork and how you can see the reflection of the butterfly. This is very sturdy cardboard packaging. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy or anything like that, and I really appreciate that it is a more small, compact size compared to other palettes. And with that being said, I like the pan size in here as well. It is smaller, but the shape of it makes it a lot easier 
to get your brush and your finger in here compared to like what I saw with my mini shall we palettes I do wish those were just a smidge bigger I haven't decided if it's enough to make me want to buy a full size or continue with the minis but that's for another video I do really like that we have a mirror in here as well the only thing I wish we had and this is just me being nitpicky and it's really for filming purposes I wish we had shade names in here but like I said if you're going to be using this at home day to day things like that it's probably not going to make a difference to you but the formula in here I found to be impeccable the mattes are pigmented but they are more buildable they're not quite as buildable as the ones in shall we and dramo but they're not quite as punchy and pigmented as what I have found in Cryptine, Narimi, Girl Cult, and Kenyon. So it's more of like a middle of the road formula when it comes to the mattes in here. But performance wise, I didn't have any issues. There was very little kick up in the pan. I didn't get any patching, skipping, and zero fallout with these. They performed beautifully. The shimmers in here though are absolutely stunning. You can see the shifts and how smooth they are on my lid. This one right here that they called like a glitter on the website, I didn't find it to be chunky or gritty. I told y'all that when I swatched it. You can definitely see those glitter particles in there but it is very smooth like very fine glitter nothing that's going to get in your eye and cause irritation or anything like that I did get a little fallout with this shade when I put it on my inner corner but other than that I didn't experience any issues everything went on beautifully I didn't have any issues with emphasizing texture or fallout and they were very smooth and very reflective I love this formula. I'm really enjoying this palette. I cannot wait to play with it and create more looks. I know I got to every single shade in here, but I still wanna play around with it a little bit more before I give you my final thoughts. But with all that being said, I'm really excited for the other three I have coming from this brand, which is a huge relief for me because, I mean, I spent my money on them and their palettes and you know, I'm just really excited about them, but hopefully those will be here within the next couple of weeks to share with y'all because they are absolutely beautiful. But that is going to complete this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. What did you think of this palette? Which look was your favorite? Are you enjoying my Sea Beauty journey as much as I am? Because I am having a blast diving in and really getting to know all of these brands. But like I said, that is going to complete this video. So as always, I want to thank you so, so much for watching my video and spending your time with me. It truly does mean so, so much to me. And if you like this video, Video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.